Hello and welcome to Tonalist Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the painting we are doing today is a study. It's called Coming Out of the Glade. And this is the smaller 5x7 version of uh, this motif. Um, sometime in the weekend uh, we will, uh, or over the weekend coming up, uh, we'll go over the larger version. Um, I'm pretty happy with this uh, particular painting and uh, I did it about a year ago um, in October of 2014 and uh, right now I'm speaking to you uh, in November of 2015 uh, and this is the second, actually, sorry, it's the second of December, and we are almost uh, through another year, so hard to believe, uh, but uh, time just keeps uh, slipping into the future, and actually, um, this is, you know, a lot of the times when I start these things, I have some sort of vague idea what I want to talk about, but uh, today, I really, I don't have much of an idea, but... Uh, I guess we'll talk about time and uh, the future and artwork and um, you know one of the things that's very interesting about uh, being alive and being a person is uh, the way we age and the way the world changes and we change um, and yet the, the, the person that's inside of us that's inside of all of us just never changes it's always the observer, I guess, of your life, and um, the interesting thing about painting and doing art in general is that I think it's one of the ways that uh, we as people try to come to terms with this, and we try to capture time, and uh, it's even, you know, of course, a painting is created of you know, daubs of paint, but each daub of paint is laid down within an increment of time, and so very much s paintings very much depict time, although they depict it in a way that's, you know, it seems non-linear. They can only be created in a linear fashion, but when you're observing them, uh, you're not really concerned with the linearity of it, because it doesn't seem to change, even though uh, funny enough, I was, I've been reading several articles uh, lately talking to me about the way paintings change, you know, how because the oil paint is in a constant state of drying, it's absorbing the dirt that's on the surface and uh, things like that, you know. Of course, it's, it's changing, but uh, the change uh, in a painting is imperceptible once the painting is done and it's hung in someone's home and they're just interacting with it like a picture on the wall. But from the standpoint of an artist and a creator, when you make a painting, that is, to me, a very powerful use of time. And in that, you have something to show for it. You have something to show for the existence you had and the consciousness that you exhibited. And that's one of the reasons why I was referred to paintings as sort of receptacles of consciousness, because um, in a way that's, you know, of course writing is, is, you know, the perfect example of that, and that you can write, or even this video I'm, I'm making right now, where I'm conversing with you, you know, after this moment is done, um, you know, this, uh, everything I've said will become the past, you know, and, um, but paintings sort of step out of that, in that, because they don't uh, seem to exist in linear time. Um, in fact, it will change, but the painting will not perceptibly change. And yet, to the artist who is creating it, the painting is all about change, you know? Everything you do to the painting has an impact on it, positively or negatively. Either way, you know, every little stroke I'm putting down now and Oh, sometimes it's not just a stroke, maybe it's an adulterated stroke, like I hit it with a bit of paper towel, or like I just did there. Um, it's 
interesting, you know. And the other thing, it's uh, you know, people don't realize it or think about it, but each painting that they're looking at is created from, you know, thousands and thousands of individual uh, movements, of strokes of paint, and reflects countless decisions being made both consciously and unconsciously by the artist and to me it's fascinating and I think um, undervalued in this modern age you know there used to be a lot more appreciation in a slower time for things like paintings when people didn't have television you know they would sit there and read a book and every now and again they'd look up at the painting on the wall and think about that or live in that space um, Speaking of that, this uh, particular painting is one of those, you know, uh, I really like this kind of scene, you know, where you're in a sort of dark area and you're coming into a light area. I think that has a lot of appeal. And uh, uh, again, it's got a road in it, you know, the thing is with roads and pictures, to me, is there, you know, it's like the ultimate archetype, you know, because we're all on a journey. We're all moving through time, we're all moving through space, we're all on some sort of path or road. And uh, we, we don't know what's around the bend, you know, just like in this picture, you don't know what's over that hill, you know. All you can tell is that it's a little bit further along than where you are. And, uh, you know, I probably, I think I, in today's blog post, I think I'm going to write about using a paper towel in my work. I know you know we've gotten a bit philosophical on today's video narration but I feel the videos are really for that just for me to kind of ramble and um, to me uh, philosophizing about art is you know one of the great things about being an artist and one of the great things about having art and and uh, but I do realize that some people are just not very patient with it and uh, that's why I tend to make my actual writings in the blog post more, um, what's the word? It may be educational is a good word, or instructive, or illuminating. Um, but definitely try to avoid a lot of philosophy in the writing on the blog. But you got a dose today on the video. Anyway, I see we're getting close to the end. Uh, so thanks for joining me for coming out of the glade. Hope you enjoyed this little study and you come back uh, in a few days to check out the larger version. If you'd like to see more of my artwork, uh, you can go to landscapepainter.co.nz or nz and check it out. Um, we'll see you in a few days. Meanwhile, take good care and stay out of trouble. <laughs>